over here at Ala Moana Beach Park, just getting a little bit of cardio in this morning. Trying to stay active. Um, we're gonna be headed out to our IVF appointment in a couple hours, but June just got off work, so we just wanted to work out. And plus, we need the gym when you have access to all of this. You get a park and a view of the beach. Nice view over here. Got diamond. Got here. some uh, nice trails to run and walk on. And they have bars where people are doing like um, pull ups, ups and stuff. stuff. Hey, Jinx! <laughs> All right, so let's go on a little run here. Oh, snap, son, they doing katas out here. Fight! So we just got done exercising. So for breakfast, we went to Lanikai Juice and they have all kinds of different shakes and smoothies and stuff, but they're known for their acai bowls. So I picked up this acai bowl over here. There's banana, pineapple, strawberry, uh, coconut flakes, and acai. How do you say it? Acai? 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 No, it's acai. Acai? Yeah. Oh, acai. And what do you get, Keisha? I got, it's called the Kailua Monkey. It has almond milk, peanut butter, um, whey protein, and I don't know what else. Bananas, I think? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Try it out. Good. Is, how does it taste? Good. <laughs> Sweet. Right, let's dig into this thing. Let's see. How am I going to attack this? So there's banana also, the granola, honey. Let me get some banana. Let's get some some of that acai. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're dripping everywhere. Let's take a close up of what that looks like right there. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So good. Okay, so it's also King Kamehameha Day. So this is the King Kamehameha statue right over here. On this particular day, they always adorn him with all these leis over here. And if... so beautiful and long. Mm-hmm. How many so, feet do you think that is? Those? Probably about 15 feet, maybe. Can you see it? Can you imagine how long it took to make those? Mm-hmm. So a lot of people make these leis by hand, and they take this crane, and then they actually put the lays on King Kamehameha right over here. Now if this building behind me looks familiar, you might have seen it from Hawaii Five-0. That's the Hawaii Five-0 headquarters right there. And right over here, King Kamehameha.
IBFM. So sorry we haven't been keeping you updated lately. Just been busy with work, life, you know. But we are on our way to our doctor's appointment with our utility specialist. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. I know we're finally getting started with this. We're gonna get the ball rolling and we're getting started with the IVF, guys. You excited, huh? Mm-hmm. All right, let's go. Hey, so we're back from our IVF appointment mm -hmm. and I felt like it went pretty well. Oh yeah, we had a nice meeting with the doctor. It was awesome. Yep, we just went over th questions we didn't go over on at our last IVF appointment. Mm -hmm. And we also briefly discussed, I had the genetic carrier screening done a couple weeks ago, so my results came back. Um, if you remember Keisha's results, hers came back as a carrier for familial Mediterranean fever and my results came back and I'm also a carrier for the same thing. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, I hear it's pretty rare for both people to have the same disease. Or to be a carrier or of the same, same thing. Carrier, yeah. yeah. But anyway, so we're both carriers of it, so we just want to be safe. And we're going to be doing the PGD testing on the embryos once that time comes. So uh, we also discussed, you know, frozen embryo transfer versus fresh embryo transfer. And if, if you followed our last IVF, we did a fresh transfer after, what, three days, right? Mm -hmm. um, this time around, obviously, we're going to do it frozen because they're going to have to freeze them and then do the PGD testing on them. But um, I guess he said that there is a higher success rate with frozen embryo transfers. So Versus yeah. fresh, mm -hmm. yeah. And then after the appointment, we just met up with our nurse coordinator, um, Lisa. Mm -hmm. She was very friendly and yeah, nice, nice and like answered all our questions about the um like prepping for the exam and whatnot i really like how they assign a nurse coordinator for each couple now in our last facility that we went to it was like one nurse handling hundreds of couples so i could see she'd be flustered and have like piles and piles of folders on on her desk you know but at least this place has multiple nurses and then they assign a particular nurse to each couple and lisa was really nice so i'm excited to work with her and dr fratarelli I just think that their office was more um, modern and mm -hmm. technology-wise. Everything was like put into the computer, mm -hmm. and then our old old doctor was like just old school, and everything was in charts and whatnot. old charts, paper yeah. charts. Yeah. So. Yeah, but you should see. You should have seen the nurse desk had like stacks and stacks of patients' folders, and it's like, oh man, how can you? stay organized like yeah. that you know but nowadays people are doing emr so yeah it's all medical um electronic, electronic. and we received this folder yeah with, i got a little homework to do yeah <laughs> with all the information as far as what vitamins to take and i pretty much take all these vitamins now besides the omega-3 and we just bought this one today mm -hmm. and i'm also currently taking ubiquinol and prenatal pills with iron. I think that's what they want us, or preferably with folic acid, they say. And also vitamin D. Mm -hmm. Now, my lab results always show up low for vitamin D as long as I can remember, so this will definitely help. And also, I am taking metformin twice a day, and that's for my um, PCOS. Mm -hmm. And mm. yeah. Keisha's popping pills. I also take spirolactone. <laughs> as well for PCOS, but I was advised to stop taking it once we start the process. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Oh, also, uh, they'd like for us to do our saline sonohistogram soon, mm -hmm. so I should be starting my period shortly and probably make a video on that next. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and call it a night, and if you're interested in following us on our second um, IVF, Go ahead and subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. And if you're interested in following our IVF journey from a year ago, just check in the description below. I'll go ahead and link the playlist for our, our last year's IVF. All right, you guys. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.